Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. I know we're not in our usual recording space. We're actually in my shed. Um, today's video is going to be a little different uh, and that's why we're not over at our usual uh, workspace with, you know, like the telephone pole. Okay guys, today's video is going to be about the best tool brand for beginner. And let me let you in on a little secret. There isn't really a right answer. Yeah, that's right. Um, when it comes to tool brands, there's always going to be this stigma that the best tool brand is going to be your most expensive brand. Now, that's not always going to be true. The best tool brand is going to be the tool brand that's going to work best for you. Not what works best for me. I mean, today you can go down to the stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Northern Tool, Harbor Freight. Um, a little more on Harbor Freight in a minute. Um, heck, you can even go down to Walmart and pick up power tools. How do you decide? Well, I mean, as a beginner, how do you make that decision on which power tool line to buy into? And I'm pretty sure now you're thinking, you know, Matthew, there's so many options. Help me. You're the professional. I'm not a professional. I would classify myself as an amateur DIYer, even though my wife and I make furniture for for people, we make stuff for gardens, for us, for other people, other gardeners. I would not classify myself anywhere near a professional. My tool brand that I buy is Ryobi. I mean, you can see everything back here on this this wall. I've got a few other brands of tools thrown in there, but those are just because I've recently purchased them for this channel. But the brand of tools that I buy is Ryobi, and here's why. It is what made the most financial sense when I was first looking for power tools. Back a little over a year ago, when I was looking for a power tool line to buy into, I came across this deal at Home Depot for the half inch drill and quarter inch impact driver. And I think I paid, what is it, like $130 for the kit. And then I was in the Ryobi family. And since then, you know, I've bought stuff like, um, I've bought a router, a, a recip saw, a circular saw. I have a few other impacts. And now I've started buying into their um, outdoor lawn equipment. And this is all on the same 18 volt battery platform. And I like that. That's what works for me. To me, the best tool brand is Ryobi because it works for everything that I need it to work for. It is convenient for me to have one tool, I'm sorry, one battery for all of my tools. Now, I mean, I don't just have one battery, but one battery platform. The 18 volt battery platform fits across all of my Ryobi tools. And I like that. I like having a lot of batteries and I can just use them across my whole shed full of tools. The best tool brand like I said in the beginning, is going to be what is going to be best for you. If you're someone who doesn't really care that you have one or two batteries for this tool brand over here, you've got this tool brand and you have one or two batteries over here, if that's you, that's perfectly fine because there's no right way to do this, right? I mean, the right way is the way that you want to do it. If you want to have every brand of tool, which I mean, ultimately I would like to have, then go for it. But let's kind of come back to the main point of the video and best tool brand for beginners. Let's use, for example, the scenario that you need to put up curtain rods. You could go down to Walmart. You could buy a HyperTuff brand drill. And for those of you who don't know, HyperTuff is Walmart's bottom tier tool line. You could buy into that and you're now, in a, you're now technically in a tool line and that's gonna hang your curtain rods just fine. Then you have to think about what else am I gonna be doing? Am I gonna be doing something that's gonna require, you know, something with a larger battery capacity? Right now, I think HyperTuff's tool line only has 1.5 amp hour batteries and I think they have four amp hour batteries. So if, if that limitation is gonna keep you from doing what you wanna do, then maybe you need to take a step back and think, should I buy into HyperTuff's tool line? Now let's take, for example, their other brand of tools, which is Hart. Now a little something about Hart. Hart is actually manufactured by the same company that manufactures Ryobi, Rigid, and Milwaukee. TTI 
manufactures all four of these brands of tools and they're at four different price points. And the reasoning for that is because it's not just the same tool in a different color. Um, they put different internals, you know, they, they, the way that they make these tools for each specific brand is purposeful. You know, the, if TTI, for example, only had one brand of tool and they had a certain price point on it, they might be missing out on a lot of people like you and I. I can't go out and buy their most expensive brand of tools and fill my shed with them. But over time, I can start to fill my shed, you know, with lower brand of tools. And that's okay for me. So ask yourself, what am I going to be doing with my tools? Am I going to need something bigger, better down the road? And is this tool line that I'm potentially buying into going to accommodate me down the road. Here's another example. I said I was going to touch base on Harbor Freight. If you look at their Bauer line, and I'll try to put a, a picture side by side comparison, but if you look at Harbor Freight's Bauer line, it looks very similar to TTI's Ryobi, and it also looks very similar to their Heart branded tools. Now, I have no idea how those companies work and how uh, patents go as far as um, tool patents. But if Home Depot's Ryobi or Walmart's Heart isn't necessarily maybe your price point, maybe Harbor Freight is, and you're still gonna end up being able to buy into a whole bunch of tools that are all gonna be supported on the same battery platform. And that's kind of what it boils down to for me at least, when I'm thinking of the best tool brand that I want. I don't want to have a whole bunch of different batteries from different tools because then you have to keep track of, you know, oh, this tool uses a lot of battery, uh, consumes a lot of my battery, and I only have one of them. So I might be halfway through a job and then I have to stop and charge it. And then I'm stuck without that tool now because I'm waiting for the battery to charge. So that's something else to consider. And there's no straightforward answer. Let me give it to you that way. I really wanted to do this video, and if you're making it here to the end, I, I thank you. I really wanted to make this video because when I first got started buying tools, I thought that I had to buy the most expensive tools because if I was going to be investing money, I wanted to make sure they were going to last. Moving forward a, almost a year and a half, I can tell you that not a single one of my Ryobi tools has let me down yet. Not a single one of my Ryobi tools is broken. It's not the most expensive brand of tool. I'll leave you with this. If you enjoyed this content today, like this video right down here and comment down below. What do you think is the, bre the best brand of tool? What kind of tools do you do you use? Let's start a, let's start a conversation down, down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to look you want to see any of my future videos or some of my past videos, subscribe to the channel. Yes, like and subscribe. Uh, and like I said, if you want to see future videos, I've got more coming out. They won't be like this all the time. I will probably very rarely just sit and talk. Um, I prefer to be out there drilling holes, driving screws, stuff like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that way you can be notified the next time I upload another video. But I do want to leave you with this. I hope that I was able to educate you even just a little bit. Somewhere in my rambling, I hope that there was some something informative. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. So until next time, we'll see you in the next one.